Alright, um, so I've been getting a couple asks on my Tumblr and stuff like that about um, how I make the custom lighters that I do. Um, so I just decided that I'm going to make uh, a tutorial video showing how to make them because I figured that's the best way. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go over everything you need and the prices of what those supplies cost. So the first thing you're going to need is, of course, lighters and whatever amount uh, you'd want. As you can see, I have like the small one and the, the larger one. Um, the smaller ones are slightly cheaper, but for a regular full-size uh, Bic lighter, um, it's going to be about a dollar a lighter, and that's kind of the most expensive aspect. Um, yeah, uh, if you buy like a couple more, like if you buy a pack of like five, it'll be cheaper than if you just keep buying, uh, you know, a pack of one. If you're just, but if you're just making one, which I figure most people do, um, then uh, that'll be fine. It'll be about a dollar. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need is a glue stick, and it kind of doesn't matter, like if you have uh, whatever kind of glue stick, um, just as long as it's not super cheap, as in like it won't stick at all. But, I don't know, this is probably like 50 cents or something like that. And then the next thing you're going to need is a uh, Mod Podge. And I use the gloss finish. And I'm pretty sure this entire 8-ounce uh, container was, uh, I think, I want to say like about $4. I could be a little off on that, but it's about $4, I want to say. And I think I'm only like, I've only used like up to here, and I, you know, made a bunch of stuff with this. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, the next thing you're going to need is a paintbrush. And... It could be any kind of paintbrush, but I do suggest that you be careful not to buy, because uh, I started using originally like just these cheap paintbrushes I had, but I learned that the color off this paintbrush, and I had some that were other colors as well, was uh, was like mixing with the Mod Podge, and it was kind of like smearing that color, so I bought some like white ones so that wouldn't happen anymore. Um, yeah. Uh, the only thing I suggest is that you get it about like a good, a good, uh, size to to cover the lighter because if you get one say like this small you know it take forever to finish the next thing you're gonna need oh a paintbrush uh you know there's probably a couple I bought um all of these if I can get this last one um all of these and I want to say it was like three or four dollars uh for all of these different kinds and sizes um, so yeah, that's not so bad. Um, and the next thing is you're gonna, um, need your artwork, and if, uh, you don't have a printer, uh, you can see about printing it at your school, or maybe at the library, um, or friends, maybe. But, uh, I just used my home printer that I have, and, uh, I just printed it on regular copy paper. And, uh, the, another important thing you're gonna need to remember is, uh, when printing it, uh, you're going to need to print the measurements, I would suggest, somewhere between uh, 2.70 and 2.75 inches. Um, just because that's about what it takes to cover the lighter. And um, this is a square, a square design. Uh, that's what, what seems to work best, even though not the entire design will fit. But I'll get, that, I'll get into that when I demonstrate it going around. Um, so that's everything you're gonna need, um, and of course everything except the lighter and the image you can use over and over again if you're making more than one. So that's good. Um, so yeah, the first thing you're gonna need to do is, like I said, print out your image, and then you're gonna need to get it to the right measurements. And um, then the then the next thing I do after I print it out and cut out the basic, you know, design, um, I uh, start to position it around the lighter and I'll uh, make sure it's matching up and if there's something that needs a little little fixing. I've, I've done most of this already so I don't really have anything to show but you'll uh, you'll line it up and you'll you know say something was a little too long you could you could uh, take it down cut it off but uh, I've uh, done that already so um, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna flip your design over get a glue stick just cover the back completely. Oops. 
I'm sure there are other ways people have done this. I'm, I've seen someone just take it, take the design and take a bunch of uh, clear tape and just wrap it around, but I, I tried that once and it didn't seem too, uh, it just wasn't as good. It looked a lot cheaper and not as good because I guess it was quick. Um, so then after you got the glue all over the back and it's nice and sticky, uh, you're gonna you're gonna place it on the lighter carefully, making sure it's not crooked. And I just get the main front design down, and that's that's just what I go off of because it's the most important part. And then um, there's gonna be an overlap, like one side is gonna overlap the other, so I pick whichever side I want to show more, and I want to show the part that has. Uh, balance and composure right there so I'll fold the side I, I care less about um, down first carefully pushing it down nice and solid and then just to ensure that uh, I get a nice stick on the, on the overlap I'll grab the glue stick and just cover this part again and then I'll usually just take the palm of my hand and just fold it into it so it's nice and uh, and uh, quick. Oh, I'm just realizing that I left a little bit of white right there so I'm going to peel it up real fast while it's still wet. Grab my uh, scissors and I'm going to trim that real fast. Some up on the top too. Well, I wasn't very careful. All right. Um, so just give me a second while I, uh, fix this up. Alright, all better. So, uh, I'll go back and repeat what I've just done. Just to make sure it's nice and sticky. Then I'll fold it. Fold it. And then I'll just stick it down. And uh, so you've got, that. that is pretty much the hardest step, I would say. And uh, once you've got that all down, then it's, it's pretty easy from there. The biggest concern is just trying to make sure you don't have any bubbles or uh, creases that you don't want. So the next step is you get your Mod Podge out. If I can uh, open this, there we go. And grab your paintbrush. And uh, also, you don't want to do this step, or kind of the other step as well, uh, immediately after printing your design, because if the ink is wet on the paper, it'll kind of smear. But uh, this was printed a while back, so I'm good to go. So uh, you just want to start with, like, downward strokes. Um, you don't want to go all over the place, because it can also smear it. So I like to start with the area... Um, oh, you can see that it's... Uh, See, it's bleeding onto the paintbrush, so you need to be careful not to smear it. Um, but I like to start with the part that overlaps, just because uh, I feel like if I can uh, get a nice, secure gloss over it, it'll help it stick. So you just kind of do a lot of downward strokes. Um, just being careful not to smear, going nice and slow, covering every part of it. I've never had, um, I've never done a lighter that didn't smear at least a little bit, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe there's another method to where it wouldn't smear at all, but it's not, it's, 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 uh, holding up pretty well.
Um, yeah, so once you've got it nice and covered, you're, the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, just sit and let it dry. And uh, while that dries, it doesn't take too long to let it dry. Um, so while that's drying, I'm just going to go wash out my paintbrush. And then I'll continue back.